Hey guys, Fuja here on November Way. Welcome to my channel again. And I first of all thank you all very much uh, to spend at least a moment to see my first video. And it means a lot to me. Today, we are going to talk about the thing that we never talk about. It's going to be on the coasters. Uh, these are the designs that I got inspired from various platforms. Uh, I'm going to link down below if you want to see the actual item. And let me know which one did you like. So let's get started with the video. So for this project, we are going to be using the glue gun, the rope and a coaster. Put the hot glue drop on the loose end of the rope and try making a base out of it. You can definitely skip this step and start using the coaster from the very beginning. When you're satisfied with the base, you can start using the coaster. Stick your base to the coaster with the glue gun and continue making the spiral out of it. You can try herringbone or the square pattern apart from the spiral design. Just because the rope has its own texture, it's gonna look good on any of the design that you're trying to make. Do not forget to seal the ends of the rope, otherwise your coaster is gonna be a mess. Once you're done putting the rope, give it a nice coat of hairspray. Hairspray will give shiny touch to the rope and fix all the short ends coming out of it. Here. For the second project, we are going to use the polymer clay. I made the nice down ball out of it and using the rolling pin, I rolled it. Uh, you don't have to worry about the shape, keep it organic, keep it real. To give this coaster a texture, I've used some instant coffee. After putting the coffee, do not use the rolling pin or your hands. You always keep parchment paper in between to press on all your coffee in the coaster. And for the second one, I've used some green tea. You can use some black pepper powder instead. This is how it should look like. of the project. We'll need hot glue gun, some pom poms and a coaster. This project is basically gluing up the pom-poms to the coaster. It all depends on the size of the pom-poms and the color that you choose to put it on the coaster. Other than that, everything is pretty easy. You can try on the different designs that you have in your mind the way I'm doing right now. After trying four or five designs, I ended up with the same design that we used in a rope coaster. Here I'm using different color for each line and making a circular pattern, uh, same as the way we did before. absolutely fine if your pom poms coming out from the coaster edges we can trim the later on after trimming off the edges analyze the work and make some changes if you need and that finishes off the last project
I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know which one did you like, and let me know your suggestion if you wanna make. And I see you all in the next video. Bye.